Okay, so today I'm going to be doing an unboxing of the Arduino Mega 2560. Here's the box. I don't know why it's all crinkled up, but that's how I got it in the mail. Open it up. Going to get your guide. It's not really guys, nothing useful in there. And then you're just going to get the board. It's the Arduino Mega 26, uh, 2560. This is the actual Italian one. This is not a fake. I only paid forty-six dollars for it on eBay, so not too bad. And then here's my Arduino Uno. They're both uh, the third generation, Rev Three. And uh, you can see they're not they're not too like the Mega's not that much bigger, but it does have a lot more pins for only being slightly bigger. Um, this one has about 250k space, this one has 32, but if you count the two for the bootloader, it's only 30. Um, I haven't really got that far in Arduino yet, but I really like how easy it is to program. And I have, uh, I just got this, I, I, got, I just got this board for 46, bought this one for 30, I had this for about a month, bought it off Mauser, bought this off eBay. This came in two days. This came in like four. I'm in California. I um, also bought this programmer. Let me go grab it. Bought this 10 pin programmer, hoping that I could buy more chips for this one and then burn the bootloader through here. But. On my gateway laptop running Windows 7 64 bit, I have not been able to get the drivers to work correctly. It was only like 15 bucks, but really disappointed that I can't get it to work and I really just don't know what to do. I'm considering buying a Adafruit's um, USB Tiny programmer. And that also that comes with the uh, 6 pin and the 10 pin, but I'm only going to need the 6. And so, uh,. I would say uh, if you're thinking about getting into Arduino, if you have the money, definitely get the Mega. It's going to have all the pins you ever need, and if you need more, I really don't I don't know what you're going to get. That's Arduino with more pins than this. It says 54 in-out pins, I believe. Um, 15 analogs, and it looks like 11 PWM pins. And then there's some right there. There's some communication pins. I'm not really that far into Arduino yet. I need some help. Not too. I've, I've obviously haven't wrote anything for this one yet. And uh, I've been trying to use this to program AT Tiny chips. And the chips are really, really cool because they're small, don't use much power. They don't hold. Uh, the ones I got AT Tiny 85s. They only hold 8K, and I got uh, two AT Tiny 84s, and those hold 8K too. But they have more pins. But I can't, I can't use this to program them because, as most people know, the Uno 3 is really a pain in the ass to get it to program anything. I've tried updated sketches for this one. I've tried. I I use a capacitor. The the reset's not the problem, but. I really don't know what the problem is. I need some help on that too. That's one thing I hope I can do with this is burn the bootloader to this one or use this one to program my AT Tiny chips. That's also something I was planning on doing with this. Just so I could keep my Arduino boards doing what I had them doing and have a separate cheap programmer to do the other job. But that didn't work out as I planned, sadly. If anyone has a good suggestion on a programmer I should buy, uh, feel free to post a comment or just send me a message because I'm obviously not the smartest person in these microchips and all that, but I enjoy having a little fun. I'm thinking about making my can crusher. I don't know if you've watched that video, but I'm thinking about putting an Arduino, just a bare chip. And I have the 16 megahertz crystals. I don't know if you can see those either, but I have five of those. I can order the chips and get them here in a couple days, but I'd be really disappointed to order them and then not actually be able to program them or 
just be a complete uh, pain in the ass to program because that's really just not going to be worth it because I can get Arduino Nano for 15 bucks shipped to my house and then that's got more analog pins in this same out in and out pins and really don't use too many of any of it I've, most I've ever used is like 12 pins and then on this one I also ruined analog zero because when I was first learning how to use this I put six volts to it and now I get very inaccurate readings and also one thing I like is right next there's pin 13 pin ground and then there's a ref that's your analog reference voltage that's really nice to have actually because if you in the Arduino programming this one's got the same thing in the Arduino programming if you set that to external you can set it to any any voltage you want no, no more than five and they say not to go below zero for it'll short something out but what I'm thinking is set that to a low voltage and do really low voltage like make a Arduino voltmeter just for the hell of it but if you guys know any better way to do that I'd like to try it I'm up to any suggestions <sighs> yeah I don't know what to don't know what more to cover about these little things they both if I'm not mistaken they both use that small chip right there and that small chip it's one of the Atmega chips programmed to be an FTDI so it's USB to serial converter to program the chip and that's how they that's how they program and also one thing I like to ask you guys is how how do I burn the bootloader with this if, if it's possible I don't know if it is I hope so because I spent 50 bucks on that how can I use this to program my AT tiny chips without a hassle why the um, USB drivers are not working with this I don't know if it's a crap unit but when I plug it in I get error code 43 I don't know if you guys have uh, never heard about that one but it's what I get it's pretty depressing so this is my little Arduino setup we got the box got the box right there got the two boards so uh yeah if you want to get into my I really wanted to get into microcontrollers and really didn't have anyone good to turn to to look for how to program anything so uh, YouTube being my best friend I just went on there for a couple days found out that the Arduino is something new something to get into went out bought me a board got started and it's actually been really fun so uh, thanks for watching guys